All right, let's get to the worst of the NFL. Mm-hmm. I've got to go, and, and I hate to do this. Well, really, I don't because I could care less. For the <laughs> uh, but the Falcons blew another lead late in the game. Surprise, the big surprise. Lead. Uh. You're literally up 16 points in the fourth quarter. 16 points. And they played so well. And they really. played so Marcus Mariota played, played well. The well. defense played well. It's very hard for a team to score twice. Now, I know the Saints didn't get both two-point conversions. But you could have just run the ball basically every play. And I know they ran it more than what they did in that Super Bowl loss. And I, I don't want to bring up that Super Bowl loss. But, man, <laughs> the Falcons just cannot hold on to Lee. Can't trust them. Can't trust them at all. I could have got a lot of different directions in the worst of the NFL. Yeah. Uh, the field goal kicking, some, especially in the steelers Bengals game. But, man, the Falcons blowing another lead. I have to call it out. Matt Ryan leaves. Apparently, it's not Matt Ryan. Okay? It's not a Matt Ryan thing. It's a y'all thing. It's yeah. a your thing. This is your life now. This is you. It's like, what does Louis C.K. say? When you know, he's like, you know, when I'm when I was 19 or 20 and my ankles messed up, I'd go to the doctor and they'd be like, oh, we can fix it by doing this. He's like, now that I'm like in my 40s, they're like, yeah, you're just, this is your ankle now. This is you. <laughs> like, this is just, yeah. this so is true. Just, you know. <laughs> so true. They're like, what, you can't do surgery on? And it's like, no, this yeah. just, it just doesn't work good now. Yeah. What is uh, what is your best? My best? Justin Herbert. Mm. I picked the Chargers to win the Super Bowl. And I could have gone Patrick Mahomes. Goes for 365 touchdowns. But I mean, what's new? I don't say obviously we know Patrick Mahomes is a witch. Justin Herbert, this is what happens when you project somebody good out of college. All the tools comes in, goes 26 to 34 for 279, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and made some big time throws. Mm-hmm. The touchdown he threw to Devin Carter yep. uh, to get, I believe, to 24 rocket. was a rocket in the Missile. right spot. Went full Elon Musk. Uh, again, Justin Herbert turning into an absolute superstar before our eyes. Chargers winning the Super Bowl. Remember I said it. Big win know, over the Raiders. Game, that run game, though, was not. Well, they're they, going to work on it. I know he has a missile, but. Yeah, they're going to get in the lab. Well, please do, because I have Austin Eckler. Okay. Also, good. on the Falcons, I had them early in my best list, and then I had to scratch them <laughs> so out. You scratched so. them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best and worst for me, NFL, the Steelers' defense. The Steelers' defense, I know they're not going to be able to do a lot on offense this season, but Mike Tomlin still has that defense dialed in. There's a few things you can count on in life, and the Steelers always having a top-notch defense is one of them. They look fantastic, and, I mean, you could just as easily say as, as your worst. I don't know. Are you going Bengals? Are you talking about the Bengals at all? No, for okay. my worst, no. Well, no, I'm just, and, that, and that's, that's not my worst either because I'm going to go Titans, but I'm saying you could say that the Bengals and Joe Burrow, especially in that first half. Five turnovers? I mean, it was just you couldn't have – I said on Twitter you couldn't have scripted a worse start, and someone said, well, well, Joe Burrow tearing his ACL would have been worse. Yeah. Like, you're an optimist. First, yeah, first off, you're an optimist. Don't say that. Yeah, don't exactly. put that out in the Don't universe. put it in the ether, man. But, exactly, uh, right. man, Steelers defense came to play. And then my worst has to be the Titans. Um, you know, this is my hometown now. I'm talking about this is uh, this is where I live now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're, we're here with the Titans. And uh, to hard. lose to the Giants like that and make us have to just deal with producer Justine the way that we've, we're going to have to deal with her all week now. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, so there she is in our ear right there. But Taylor Lewan's going to get that team right. He's already said, look, we take full responsibility for this loss. Let's see if they can turn it around. But it wasn't pretty. It wasn't. My best, um, you know, I'm going to go a little Houston Texans here. Yeah. Right? Nice. Usually they come out, a lot of, lot of doubters, including myself, will run them. You come out and you tie with the Colts, who had a lot should've of— Should have won. You're twenty. Should have won. A lot of people had the Colts winning their division. So I think the Texans are going to surprise a lot of teams. I would be interested to go back and see what their over-under was. Win total. I don't know if we talked about this. I think it was four and a half. Hold on. I'm on it. I'm oh, on. I don't know. You're talking talk about, about the about Texans, it. right? Yeah. I don't okay. know if we talked about that on the show, but they're looking like maybe they'll hit that over. And my worst, you know, I wanted to go a couple of things here. Here is between, you know, the organization of the Packers and Derek Carr. It was um, Texans. The double. Four yeah. and a half was the over under one total. And I think I had him at four. Okay. I think you did. Do you get a half win for a tie? Is it now four? Is Actually, the they said you do. Really? I don't know about on. I'm wait, sure wait, 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 wait no, that's a real thing. Yesterday they said in the NFL they said uh, on Scott Hansen said on Red Zone you get a half point or something for a tie. So really, I believe Scott Hansen. Would, I believe. First of all, yeah. no professional competition should end in a tie. Scott Hansen. Are we professionals or are we not? That's exactly right. Never ties end. are lame. Ties are for suits. Yeah, but you saw it in the Packers game, Aaron just you know back there just looking around. It's like look, this is what this is what y'all gave me. You talking about Aaron Rodgers? You saw their draft pick drop a touchdown pass. Yeah. And then you look around the NFL, Traylon Burks is out there just balling for the Titans. I mean, Chris Olave for the Saints looks great. So it's just the organization for the Packers continually to let Aaron Rodgers down. Aaron Rodgers kind of be like, man, I'm tired. It's like, man, I'm tired. Well, I'm getting like, old. I'm tired. Gray beard. You, yeah, I'm tired. You don't help me at all. And then Derek Carr, how do you how do you get the best receiver 
and become worse. <laughs> you got the best receiver in the NFL and became worse. So I, that, those are a couple of things that kind of stood out to me. You could go around the league, but the Packers organization, just Derek Cards. What a letdown. You see the look Aaron Rodgers gave after the, I think it was the Christian Watson drop. Yeah. He, he gave a look to the sideline like, yeah, like, I'm I doing left. my thing. Yeah, I should have left. <laughs> no, he's like, I wanted J-Mo. I yeah. wanted J-Mo. Trade left. up. I said it the whole time. It was the deepest wide receiver class we've seen in a long time. And the Packers went out there and, and got, the, you know, the Piggly, Piggly Wiggly compared to you could have got Walmart. Or even Target. Don't you dare have Piggly Wiggly first off, me first on this off, show. I've got a ton of okay. Piggly Wiggly. Okay, okay. good. I so. But in the grand scheme of things, if we're looking at the order of things, there's a lot of low-key things I like that aren't brand name stuff. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly, a lot of people know that. I could have said maybe Win dixie Maybe Win that's a dixie. better one. My yeah. father-in-law calls every grocery Everybody store Everybody up north Piggly is like, Wiggly. what's a, what's a really? Win dixie he's like, he's like, well, I'm going to go down to the Piggly Wiggly and get something. And, and we're <laughs> Dude, like, you talking about, you talking about the Win dixie Yeah, I said Piggly Wiggly. They're like... <laughs> It's like how people talk about Coca-Cola, you know? It's like when dixie is like if Piggly Wiggly won the lottery. Like, you got a lot of nice, it's had, nicer stuff. We, we had one better. in Statesboro called Bilo. Bilo. But gua, like gua, you Bilo. You think Guilo? Bilo. Oh. B-I-L-O-W. Have you ever Bilo. seen the movie Balls of Fury, the ping you know, pong movie? Yeah. <laughs> they don't, the, the, the guy goes in there and the, he's trying to learn how to play ping pong. He's like, teach me. And the guy's like, I know teach Guilo, which I guess means <laughs> the like blind guy. Person. Yeah, <laughs> the blind ping pong master. If you like that content, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to be balling every day on Crane and Company. Hit that like button while you're at it and go ahead and smash it like Derrick Henry on an ISO run.